How to create a passport size photo in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a passport size photo in Canva. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com, sign in into an account and boom, here we have the dashboard. The second thing is to click on create a design. Then we are going to click on a custom size. Click on custom size, then I highly recommend you to search uh, for the correct size in your country because it depends from a passport to a passport. So we are going to set uh, the units to millimeters. Then we are going to set, for example, in my case, I will use this um, 35 by 45 like that. So we are going to create a new design and see if it is okay. Yes, it is. So now we are going to set up some uh, something to it. I'm going to click on the resize and magic uh, right there or the file. Here, click on file. Then we are going to set up the uh, click on settings, show the margins. Then we need to set also to show the print bleed. So these two are very important. Now, all we need to do is to set up the uh, image that we need. For example, we are going to the uploads, see if we, uh, if we have some images, then we are going to set up, for example, this, uh, this image right there. Uh, you need a removed background photo. So this is just an example. You need a removed background photo. So I'm going to use maybe this one. Here we have it. This is a background like that. Maybe white, maybe transparent. I don't know. So you need to set up only the transparent. Now let's go to the elements and use a frame like that. This frame, we are going to make the color of it transparent like this. Then we are going to position it to the back, backward of the photo. So we are going to put it like that between the margin, also the outline like this. So we are going to set it like that. Put it like this, make it even for both sides, maybe like that. So here we have it, I think. I think this is perfect. So all we need to do here is to make it to the middle, line it to the middle like that, and boom. Now all we need to do is to make the photo bigger and focus on the head to be on the photo like this. So make sure to have it like that. So like this, here we have it. Now all we need to do is to set up right there the photo. This is the frame. So we need to set up this photo right there inside or outside the frame. Here we have it. So make sure to select the frame correctly in order to make everything in order. So here we have the frame and boom, make sure to set up everything or right they're good. So we are going to delete the margins from there and make it like that. Make the bezels a little bit smaller and from there. The photo is ready and boom, here we have it. So you can see that the quadrant right there or the uh, margin that we have created is okay. So now we are going to put it to the middle and here we have it. All we need to do right there is to go back to the file, uh, deselect the margins and uh, also the bleed and boom, here we have our photo. All we need to do is to click on share, download it as a PNG and boom. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. Hope to see you soon on the next one.